Hello, I hope y'all can hear me pretty good. I'm just making this quick video to um uh, just talk about some things that I've found out through doing research about um different um cultures from the past and um um Oh yeah, this book right here, this is a very, very good book to get. I would advise getting this book. Um, this book talks about all the cultures and um, it talks about gospels and that, that's not in the Bible that were... Um, that wasn't um that didn't make the canon or whatever and they talk about a lot of stuff about the culture that these christians and these people were at war with back in those days and who they um um who they who they didn't like per se Not that you know i'm just gonna say that but the people that they don't like now i'm starting to see those are the ones who i <laughs> it seems like i vibe with the most <laughs> But, um, let's see here. Uh, what I was looking at. What, I, what was I looking at? Let me go back to what my screen. Go back to my screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to clarify some things about what I said earlier on my previous video about, um, what I was saying about God and being connected with God and um the the, the thing about it is um it, it really doesn't have anything to do with religion per se it has to do with um you spending time and wanting to understand the world that's it um I don't think this, this understanding this or, or gaining revelation comes from any t one religion um revelation is not confined to one religion i believe that you can have revelation um from a higher source no matter what it is it's just about having time it, that's that's what it's about um but um i want to know if people know that um I read stuff like the Book of Enoch. Now, the Book of Enoch says a lot about um, the fallen angels and the knowledge that they brought brought with them. Um, I suggest people um, go read that book, the Book of Enoch, because if you read the Book of Enoch, it will show you that a lot of stuff that we built in this world, the world, the, the, a lot of stuff that we built in our reality comes from that knowledge now the serpent and the dragon cultures are, are not of the fallen angel now they try to demonize it in, in, in the um in the bible they try to demonize these people and say that they are but really the people who are using the fallen angel knowledge and technology the most are those of the mono theistic religions see people have taken this serpent and this dragon and demonized it because the wrong people had the control over these symbols and um they the symbols themselves are not evil or bad at all neither were the cultures that represented them before they were conquered by certain people but it's the it's the illusion that's going on right now that's um that got people deceived. It's a big grand illusion going on, and um people are thinking that the the, the people that are the so-called the good guys are really good. No, these are the these are the ones you need to watch. The ones that calling themselves the good guys, they are the ones that do doing the most so-called magic. 
on people. They are the one that's doing the most deception and trickery. Now, what I'm beginning to learn is this whole world has been built and constructed on fallen angel knowledge and technology. Now, is the knowledge and technology useful? Of course it is. But now is the knowledge and technology ba balanced with, with, with the world? You know, I call what you call God, and I call I call God is that which formed the beginnings of all things like nature. So now is this technology that we built for ourselves in balance with nature? We got landfills. We got pollution in the oceans and all this stuff here. And the same people that say that they have the knowledge of God or they're working to build God's kingdom are building it with fallen angel technology and knowledge and, and are destroying what I call the things that were made by God, meaning nature. So now who's really the bad guy? This serpent and this dragon is not telling you to destroy the nature of the, the, the very world that you live on. The serpent and the dragon is not telling you to destroy that. So I think people need to look more closely, more carefully into what it is they think that they know about what is true. Because everything that truly lead me back to this, everything that's on this screen is the only thing that I want to identify with, self-identify with, this, that serpent and this dragon. Um, Jesus Christ was an idol, people, y'all know that. Y'all know that. All the stuff that Jesus was doing, they were doing long before Jesus even came. You know? So I think people need to start digging in and looking more carefully. You know? People need to sit back, stand back, and don't let people lead you. Keep pushing you and leading you astray saying this is right and this is wrong and you need to listen to what these people say. No. It all leads back to this. This is the truth. To me, anyway. To me. You know. And then we got to watch the story that they tell about the, the, the serpent and the dragon. Because they like to the profane people culture. You know what I'm saying? They love to the profane and demonize thing that they didn't understand. It's a lot of stuff they still don't understand to this day. They just, they use conjecture and they, they lie about stuff and they won't admit that they don't understand certain stuff, you know. This is the arrogance of their ignorance. So, everything is leading me back to this. Um... When I when I was talking to, earlier today on my previous video about um falling away, <laughs> about falling, what that means. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know. It's not a bad thing. You gain you gain clarity, and revelation happens from just spending time with 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 yourself and trying to understand things um things get revealed to you just by gaining just having time um the, i don't believe in female worship neither i don't worship deities in the form of male or female 
I don't worship nature neither, but I choose to look at these symbols when it comes to the dragon and the serpent. I don't worship them, but I look at what it represents. You know what I'm saying? But, um, really I'm just voicing my opinion, just speaking what's in my head. Because a lot of stuff, I, I've realized a lot of stuff that I was told is not true. It's not true at all. And I suggest that people dig in, read for yourself. Do not be led by people who say they're going to think for you. They know what's this. You have to do your own research. That means that you need your own time. And things will be revealed to you in time. 